Cora, I am Ken Sand Hip Hop, and this is my life in five. So my most influential initial uh, empowering song in hip hop was Queen Latifah's You and I T Y. I was 13 years old, and the message was so empowering. And I, I grew up in a very um, community-based and community-driven family. And being unified was just a part of our existence. We were infiltrated in real estate in Houston. And that message resonated with me, almost like a, a mantra of what existed for me and what I needed to be, um, how I needed to maintain that legacy through my existence and then what would eventually become uh, being a musician and a creative. So, and Queen Latifah, just her whole vibe was so regal, it was so uh, commanding and confident and just her, the way she presented her, her message was just undeniable, like you, you had to respect it and unity represented that for me. So definitely my number one of my top five. So my second is Jay-Z, Show Me What You Got. So for me as a musician, the, the merging of samples and original music um, with, with break beats and with tribal presentation of drums through, through the hip-hop sound. Jay-Z brought another level of respect to his live drums show me Of course, I'm a drummer, so I felt like it, it allowed people who were hip-hop heads that didn't necessarily know the history of sampling and original music to respect live instruments. So show me what you got, Jay-Z, definitely a second. My third top five would have to be one of the most rhythmic rappers, hip hop moments to me. Uh, Buster Rhymes, super command of rhythm with his lyrics. And give me some more. This is like much more. Super, super, uh, almost captivating the way he spit his lyrics over the rhythm. Number four of my top five is Texas represented, Houston represented, Toby Nwigley and Fat, and his history, this name that got the track. And Toby's roots is, is, are based in Nigeria, and he's highlighting and honoring the Nigerian bobsled team that competed in the Olympics. And, you know, I'm, I'm Black Girl Magic all the way, I rock as a drummer, but there are some um, real challenges that hip hop allows us to communicate when we can't get the words out or when we can't um, get our thoughts together. Hip hop represents that and history represents that. And the resilience and tenacity of the Nigerian bobsled team um, winning and really being at the bottom of the total pole of expectation. Just, I mean, that song is powerful. My number five of my top five favorite hip hop songs comes from another Texas native, Erica Badu. Um, I got a chance to, to experience her on the Black Girls Rock stage, just incredible. But the New America part one and part two raises a level of consciousness that I think a lot of the black community is not in tune to and that is our, our heritage as kings and queens. And you know at the end she says, uh, has anybody seen my 42 laws? And she's referencing 42 laws of mod, which is ancient Egyptian history, ancient Kemet. And Sometimes uh, we have to be 
less direct about our power because uh, melanin is continuing. There's a lot of nutrients in melanin and Erica speaks to that space and gives us a nudge, a reminder of how incredible we are. And uh, a lot of people, you know, they they ask like, why do I go by Queen Core? Who do I think I am to consider myself a queen? And sometimes it makes me sad that they don't realize that they're not. And you know, Erica Badu, she speaks to this space. So New America, the American Promise is my top five, fifth favorite hip hop track. And that's my life in five. Check it out, yeah. Wow, and it sounds so nice. Hip hop, you the love of my life. I'm about to take you to the top. Wow, hip hop, hip hop, to the top.